Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte, a refresh that NVIDIA released on December 7th, but really is a paper launch because nobody's seen it in retailers or e-tailers anywhere. The stock is completely empty, and we got much of the specs that we know already, so we can kind of dis discern from there what the performance may or may not be. The biggest thing for me is the specs are pretty much the same for as the original RTX 6 gig card, but with a little bit extra CUDA cores, RT cores, and Tensor cores. And of course, we've seen all kinds of different models drop from ASUS, GameWord, Gigabyte, MSI, so on and so forth. But a lot of the articles out there are saying that it's good for miners and not for gamers when I think the exact opposite. Let me explain. So of course, OEMs, or so this article says, OEMs targets miners with the RTX 2060 12 gigabytes, but gamers need more. I 100% agree with that. Gamers need to finish their systems. There's a lot of systems being built right now where the user's just using their integrated graphics and they can use a GPU to finish their build. And it's quite unfortunate that so many have been patiently waiting and some of them who were able to get GPUs had to pay astronomical pricing. Additionally, another article here, NVIDIA RTX 2060 looks promising for cryptocurrency miners, not so great from gamers which is the point of this video, I completely disagree. But we also got some data here from Tom's Hardware about the gaming performance. And we can see that the 12 gig variant is kind of underperforming the RTX 3060, which seems more attractive to me in that price point range. And we don't have concrete data on what the actual price of the GPU is yet, but the 3060 looks more attractive to me than the 12 gigabyte RTX 2060 throughout the various gaming titles. And on top of that, the tw extra six gigabytes of memory, the total of 12, does not benefit mining as much as it does for gaming. Let me explain in just a moment. When are we expecting to see these? Well, Nvidia says they're ramping up production throughout December and into January. So we should see more of these GPUs come out, but I wouldn't get your hopes quite up just yet. So other articles here talking about the various models basically a stealth launch, a paper launch, whatever it may be, um, and uh, it's impossible to find. So yes, it is impossible to find. Nobody can get it anywhere. We got some projected hash rates here, which is pretty much on par with the original 6 gig card, 31.65 mega hash, 83.44 watts, and that gives it an efficiency of 0.379 with the data that we have here. I would wait for crypto tech tubers to actually put out some content and some actual hash rates for you, uh, but it does seem a little bit efficient not as efficient as say the 3060 or the 3060 ti or the 6600 or 6600 xt but it is an efficient card compared to the og 2060 now we got some price information here it looks like a 560 plus uh, and it says great for crypto miners once again um but that at that price point you might as well turn your your angle of attack and switch to the 3060 uh, non-TI or the 6600 or the 6600 XT in that price point if you're shooting in that 500 plus range but with the specs that we see here we can actually determine okay well it's gonna be pretty much the original as the same or the same as the original 2060 because look the memory bandwidth is the exact same the memory bus is the exact same 192 bit and that's the huge handicap right there if they went with a 256 this car would probably outperform the super um, or be on par with the Super's performance, so to speak. Uh, and of course, it has a higher TDP rating than the original um, and even the Super. Uh, no price point information, but here's the CUDA core count. Exact same as the 2060 Super. 2176 CUDA cores, 64 RT cores, or ray tracing cores, and 136 tensor cores. Now, switching topics here, you know, this card, if we look at Ethereum mining, would be beneficial if ethereum mining wasn't switching to proof of stake in the future right in late q2 uh early q3 2022 proof of stake or eth 2.0 is coming about and the reason why more memory would be beneficial for gpu miners is because the dag file is ever increasing in small increments and over time you know cards like the 4 gig uh 580 570 we're no longer able to mine Ethereum because the DAG was getting so big. 
The only time that I could see this possibly be beneficial, especially since Eve 2.0 is on the horizon, is maybe miners, whether they're small, at home, mid scale, or large, getting a bunch of these cards to mine a dagger or Eve hash token, like Elysium, Callisto, whatever it may be. As the DAG continues to get bigger, they won't have to worry about upgrading their cards because they have the memory they need. However, in that context, why I see this card being better for gamers rather than miners is, say for example, Resident Evil or much of the AAA games that we love. You know, if we go to options and graphics here, if we increase the resolution, and you can actually see the amount of graphics memory being utilized here. Now, this system has the RTX 3080 LHR. But you can see it's only 2.23 gigabytes out of 9.84 gigabytes. And if we increase the resolution size, it will actually take up more memory. Um, and if we increase the overall shadow, quality, textures, what have you, you'll see as well. Watch. If I increase this, it goes up to 2.7, 3.63, 5.46. And if I increase any other you know, shadows... Uh, quality cash whatever it eats up more and more memory so I think this card is better for gamers because it allows them to play the AAA titles you know even if it's at 1080p with higher texture details 1440p at higher texture details maybe some games at 4k but not all of them not the, not the latest and greatest but this gives the gamers a better chance of playing the titles they love with better quality better textures better shadows rather than the extra 12 gig not really benefiting us miners, especially since most of us are focusing on Ethereum or Flux or Swap, uh, other coins that you can mine with without having to be worried about six gigs of memory not being enough. So to me, this is just Nvidia doing a cash grab, trying to use old inventory or maybe some GPUs that didn't quite meet the cut for whatever tier they were on. Uh, and just reselling or selling them to try to make a profit on whatever is left off. Otherwise, they would have to throw them away, recycle, bin them, whatever it may be. But I personally don't know of any farms that are utilizing or plan on utilizing these GPUs and getting them in droves, pots, whatever you want to call it. If you are a farm or work in a farm, please hit me up. You can hit me up on Twitter, DM me in Discord. There's a number of ways to get in touch with me. I'd be interested to know if you and your farm are planning or have already planned to get a bunch of the 2060 12 gigs and for the at-home miner small mid scale whatever it may be let me know your thoughts are you are you planning on getting a bunch of these cards to mine with are you gonna build entire rigs out of them uh, I'd be interested to know for me I'm gonna leave it for the gamers I'm not gonna really worry about it too much uh, it is old technology but I could see it being a huge benefit especially with the increased memory for gamers to play their games at higher quality settings higher resolutions so on and so forth but besides that that's going to do it for me today please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date what's going on with the channel as well as check out some of the links in the description that help support us and what we do here like the dojoor.com you can get some sweet merch or any of the affiliate links where i have some of my recommended hardware and more you all have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one